What's going on, my brother? I ain't up, man. What's going on with you? Mm-hmm, man, cooling, cooling. Another, another day in paradise, as they say, man. Yes, sir, man. I'm, uh, <clears throat> back a little bit sooner than we, you know, expected. Um, with good reason, because we got some breaking news that Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr., also known as Tom Brady, is retiring from the NFL. Wow. <laughs> wow is right. Six-round pick out of Michigan. And nobody even saw this guy coming, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, I still remember seeing, like, his little workout video, his little scrying little <laughs> white boy. You look at him now. Mm-hmm. Arguably, what majority of people say is the greatest of all time. Um, yeah. just, to, just to run down some quick little accolades, and then we can just get into the freestyle conversation. Um, seven-time Super Bowl champion, which is the most for a single player in league history. Um, Five-time Super Bowl MVP. Three-time NFL MVP. 15-time Pro Bowler. He's led the league in passing touchdowns five times. He's led the league in passing yards four times. He's a two-time NFL Offensive Player of the Year and three-time first-team All-Pro. Tom Brady, how you feel, bro? Oh man, I'm a I'm a little bit shocked. We we knew it was coming. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Maybe I just got so spoiled with like the big name people like him. Um, you know what I'm saying? Getting a farewell tour and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They're building up or something. You know what I'm saying? Right. For just after the season, then he didn't even take long. You know what I'm saying? I guess he said he got to consult with the family. And then we get it on a random Saturday. Correct. <clears throat> One week after they were eliminated. Uh-huh. He, he, you know, um, he did. I forgot. He did mention on that podcast that he didn't want a farewell tour. Okay. Well, then that would make sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He says he's not up. Uh, he doesn't want to be you know, egging on the whole larger than life aspect of things, even though he realizes like how people view him, but he doesn't want to go that route. <clears throat> you know, perfect way to, you know, ride over to the sunset. Like you mm-hmm. said, man, everybody, everybody's thinking like, well, you know, he's a competitor and he talk about he could play to you 46 or 50 or something like that. Yeah. And yeah, I kind of just felt like perfect storm. It's the perfect time to walk away, man. Um, one one thing, and I told you off air, I was like, um, that was real interesting hearing them say, which kind of this is what you know, kind of swayed my opinion. Like I said, I'd be using the context clues. It's like, you know, he's always been like super competitive, but then when he came out and said like he was satisfied. That was something that's like different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, you just see somebody at the buffet eating, 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 eating. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, well, they probably gonna eat a lot of food. And then out of nowhere, uh, I'm full. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Like damn. But seven, seven Super Bowls, bro. Seven, and he lost three. Right, two, two to the Giants and I one against the Eagles. Eagles. Yep. NFC East. Went 10 times. 10, 10 times. Bro, I, that means that means 22 years. Almost every other year you went to the Super Bowl on right. average. <laughs> <laughs> man, that is crazy, man. Um, Something we'll probably never see again. Yeah. Definitely not in our lifetime. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's let's you know, Patty get this one. He'll have what two and four years, right? Or you know, <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah, I'm about to say, you know, you want 
close to it. You know, what I'm I, 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 I ain't gonna say all that. I ain't gonna if say he all get that. there again, he, he, he that'll be three straight years. You know, so hey, he, Jimmy he, Jimmy G get this one. He will have four. So we so let's let's pause on all that. Nobody close talk. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. <laughs> Hey, you know, you know, you know that was my little campaign uh, season before last when the yeah, 49 I forget about the get the guy and shit. I forgot he was on that fucking staff. That's like, he was on that roster. So he won this Super Bowl. My man gonna have four. He, he won his heels already. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but man, I, I can't. The last time that Tom Brady wasn't playing football in the NFL. I was eight years old. Nine years old. Ten years old. Yeah, ten. I'm now 32. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That is crazy. This is this is how you know you're getting old, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like Big Ben getting drafted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's one aspect you realize you know. And the other <laughs> is like uh, when you see the people that you grew up watching when their kids start into the league. All right, right. <laughs> the, the juniors, the Tim Hardaway juniors, yeah, Gary Payton juniors. You no know, football, the Michael Pittmans, the. The Winfields, man, like yeah, Lee, Asante Samuels, and shit. Mm-hmm. Crazy, 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 crazy. Um, so just to run down, like the quick synopsis. I guess we could, uh, we could hit the career highlights, but you know, this season didn't end quite how he wanted it to end. Um, he did, from an individual standpoint. Lead the league in passing this year, as well as touchdown passes. So, you know, it ain't like he just fell off a complete cliff. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's like one of the reasons why I thought, you know what I'm saying? Well, me definitely could still go if you wanted to. That's mm-hmm. why I wasn't too sure. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Um, that would be interesting to see. Like, is is you know, is he going to get that MVP? I mean, he might as well get to him, man. Let's go ahead and get to him, man. <laughs> Yeah, get the get the MVP, man. Go ahead and uh, at least let him go out with that. He couldn't get a ring. Let him go out with the MVP, man. Yeah, give him the MVP. Let him let him stop the go ahead. Put him in a stop the Pro Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um. So he does have. And what I keep referencing is he does have the um the Let's Go podcast <clears throat> or whatever. So he does that with a co-host Jim Gray. So I guess that'll be something we you know look forward to and always keeping up with him if you want to you know what I mean yeah yeah like that's one thing we wanted what what he's gonna do after you know what I'm saying after his retirement you know what I'm saying of course you know what I'm saying he's definitely gonna wanna spend time with the family and whatnot mm-hmm. but you know what I'm saying is he gonna jump into Commentating games, maybe a sports analyst, ESPN or something like that. Do, 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 do they have? Do they have that kind of bag? I mean, I know ESPN, Disney. I know Disney got the bag. That's, that's gonna be a big bag, right there. Hey, it's gonna, you gonna be, get instant be, return. That might be layoffs right there. You gonna get instant return? <laughs> like, hey, ain't not like ESPN <laughs> did before, man. You know what I'm <laughs> lay, lay a bunch of people off to bring it. Little thumb, controversy right? here, there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and he got the he got, <laughs> he got the be cheating as an announcer too. Now don't 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 show us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the deflating nigga seats and all that, you know. What yeah, I'm man. Yeah, we're getting some of these career accolades, man. That, <clears throat> that was one of them, the deflate gate. Um, first and foremost, let me ask you: Do you believe Tom Brady was a cheater? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So go but ahead. You, you know, I came, I came to grips with it over the years. It is what it is. So, <laughs> it's like, it's never, nobody, nobody. It seems like nobody cares. So it's like. <laughs> I just, I just had to, I had to live with it. I had to get, get over with it. Cause you know me, I, I resented him for a lot of them years. Okay. But like, 
I guess if you can't beat them, join them. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, man. Right. You know? <laughs> um so let, let's let's go. Well, this wasn't this wasn't his fault, this one. But let's go all the way back to the first known, you know, scandal, which was uh the Tuck Rule. Um was a AFC championship game. I think that was about 2002, I think. And that was uh, Oakland versus New England. Um, obviously, in Foxborough, every um, big playoff game for the Patriots over the years seems to be like a, a snowstorm or something of the equivalent. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And this was no different. And this was the Oakland Raiders coming off a Super Bowl appearance. With stars such as like Rich Gannon and Charles Woodson, um, they had the other Woodson at the time. I think Rob Woodson, okay. OG, you know OG Woodson or whatever. Yes. Um, Tim Brown, Tim, yeah, Tim Brown. Uh, did they have Jerry Rice? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, know they, I think they had Charlie Garner running back. Definitely had Charlie. Good old Charlie was at twenty five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um it, it it comes down to uh Charles Woodson doing the cornerback blitz and he gets there, it looks like a strip sack. Um they recover it only after a brief meeting by the referees was decided that it wasn't a fumble because of the tuck rule. If a quarterback tucks the football away, if it's knocked out of his hand, it is not a fumble. It is an incomplete pass. Never heard of it before then. Never seen it again after that. Yeah, man. <clears throat> um, now, it still was it still was quite impressive. Adam Vinatieri hitting that kick in the snowstorm. Uh-huh. And... You know, they were going to go to the Super Bowl and the rest was history. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. And then, then another scandal, you know, wasn't his fault, but the whole videotape and the Rams thing. Yeah. That, that, that was, so, You do you classify Bill as the cheater or? <clears throat> yeah, Bill, Bill definitely was the main corporate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and Brady and the Patriots benefited from a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? And, and it seems like maybe Tom picked up some stuff along the way with the, the whole deflate gate thing. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, me, you know what I'm saying? Being as a person <laughs> who believes in the conspiracy, mm-hmm. you never know how deep it runs. You know what I'm saying? So okay. that's what always plagued my mind. But my go ahead. So let me, let, me ask, let me ask you a question, right? Mm hmm. So. Let's say like you in the NFL and you was in like New England, you would would you be down with that or would you be like against that or what? Ah, that's a good question, man. I go. I'd probably be with it. I, I might be with it. I'd be with. I'd be with it. Yeah, like what you go do to tell Bill? Oh my, I'm gonna snitch now. Nah, that's not our courage. This is our background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm sitting now. I'm. First of all, I'm. I'm. I might beat Bill to the practice room to the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what we, uh, so, uh, uh, What kind of rules we tweaking and breaking today, Bill? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? I was looking at these zones last night. What you think about? You know, I'm, I'm giving them suggestions and all that myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But <clears throat> um, not to just hop on the bad stuff. We're just going to get the controversial stuff before we get to all the. Sweet stuff, because like you said, the one thing that time does do is time erases like a lot of the like it cuts off a lot of the fat off the bacon, so to speak. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then at the end of the day, people just look at the bacon, the accomplishment. Yeah, because I, I used to harbor <laughs> like a lot of resentment for for LeBron as well, but it's like at the time I'm like, bro, like it's it's not in all that, you know what I'm saying? I just it is it is what it is. Yeah, you talk the super team thing and all that. Yeah, that and like I like build up like a lot of resentment for like a lot of stuff he used to do off the court. Like um like when he got dunked on, they confiscated the tapes. Um <laughs> Right. Uh it was something he had an incident happened at a, a garage sale. It was like, like a whole bunch of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just the whole walking off, bad sportsmanship. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, they be dancing on the sideline when they win, but then as soon as they lose, they walk off the court, don't shake hands and all that. Mm-hmm. It's like little stuff like that. Yeah, I get it. That makes sense. <laughs> and so, um, you know, New England, when he Tom Brady played with the Patriots, New England has basically been like the the poster child of the NFL, the the common model citizen team that you would want to model your team behind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and Tom Brady was like really the head of that snake, so to speak, you know, player wise. Um, he seemed to make just like from day one, once Drew Bledsoe went down with the concussion and whatnot, he seemed to just make it work with any and everybody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you, I want to say Antonio Brown might have been like the first player that, that really w- been going on Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. that's 22 years in. You know what I mean? I mean, he's won the Super Bowls with uh, Deion Branch as the top receiver. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um... Who is who is you know when we was talking about uh on the uh, previous podcast we was talking about Debo that's who Deion Branch you know he reminded me of like Deion Branch because Deion Branch would do like a lot of that stuff for the Patriots too right lining up in the backfield running the ball ten, ten carries a game you know what I'm saying I think it was like one game Deion Branch put like corner for the uh, for the Patriots right right corner safety you know <laughs> so. Yeah. He's like, man, I, I, and I wouldn't rule that out for Debo either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, uh, I got to stop Matt Stafford myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I got Cooper Cup. <laughs> right, right. They take takes a receiver to stop a receiver. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, like Deion Branch and and rest in peace. You know David Patton, and then you. Get to the mid two thousands, and he gets like the the Randy Moss, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And the the sixteen and O oh, perfect season, and coming within a a defensive stop of completing the perfect season, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Then you turn so they they started off with the everybody do your job we don't need no big names on the offense for real and then you get the big name and Randy Moss and then they got to the the tight end thing with you know drafting Gronk and Aaron Hernandez you know what i mean mm-hmm. and just just i, I want to say outside of that one season, that might have been 2008, actually, when he uh, got the season ended, though. <clears throat> I think that was against the Chiefs. Oh, and uh, Jones went low. Yeah, and that's what made the whole can't hit the quarterback low rule. Yeah. So he has his own rule, Tom Brady rule. Um, I want to say other than that season right there, he really has been like a adorable player. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Super, yeah. Super adorable. Yeah. yeah and that's, I mean, everybody gets injuries, but it's ne- never been nothing where it's like, oh, you know, he done miss, miss six weeks or something like that. <clears throat> right. Super smart, man. We talk about him going to 10 Super Bowls. It's even more AFC championships. You know what I mean? Yeah. It seems like every other every year it was just either them or whoever Peyton Madden is playing for. You know what I mean? Right. And so let me ask you this. What do you feel like um what what's Tom Brady's like I most I what's his iconic moment? I feel like he's been good for so long. Like what's gonna stand out? Like I feel cheap by saying this, but <laughs> okay. just coming back. And that Super Bowl against the Falcons, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Matty Ice. Yeah, that, 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 that's <laughs> right. a crazy comeback right there. <laughs> it feels so cheap saying it because it's so new. Like you said, 22-year career, you can definitely go back and find some more, you know what I'm saying, older moments. But, like, that's that's going to be one that really, really stuck out with me and my dog. Because I was in the party having up. I'm like, I know this nigga lost this job. Mm-hmm. They just slowly, slowly, slowly chip back and end up winning the game. Like, that's crazy. 
Was we in the same party that yeah, day? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I, th- mm-hmm. I think I think Man Earn was the only one. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they'll believe me. You go. It ain't. Hey, it ain't over till it's I eight. Was, triple- uh, I was low key <laughs> sick, man. Yeah, you didn't think my team lost? <laughs> hey, it ain't over till that thing say zeros, man. <laughs> Let's go. Boy, Matt Ryan style, man. man. I was like, oh, that's what Matty Ice man. Okay, okay. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> Twenty eight three. Um, yeah, you're right. That that's what that's what's gonna stick out the most. Other than that, I just really feel like you would just have to look at the resume. Like seven Super Bowls. Yeah, that that's gonna stick out a lot. Like you said. He's going to live on forever, like how Jordan, like, will be untouchable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, six. Undefeated in the finals, bro. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. had that same conversation, bro. No, seven rings, bro. Like, he got more rings than, like, a lot of, if not all, NFL franchises, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, 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 is the, that is the most. Um, <laughs> yeah, because. Uh, this one might be close to, like, six. Did the Patriots did the, did the Patriots have any Super Bowls before? Oh, no, no, no. No, okay. Yeah, so yeah. You said Pittsburgh, I know they got six. Dallas got what five? You're right. Dallas, I think Dallas and Frank got five. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's more than and and to leave like a you you know, your team and the in the first year with a new team in the midst of like a pandemic starting. And so much chaos going around to just come out and win the Super Bowl like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's, it's impressive. Obviously, the team is a very good team once he was the final piece. <laughs> and um, so we think the Buccaneers go from there as far as like quarterback wise. That we 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 talked about the Drew Brees situation and maybe Aaron Rodgers leaving Green Bay, but holy cow! Right? Yeah, like you said. <laughs> At least, like, I mean, that's, like, the good thing about it. He gave him a good, good heads up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am, I'm, I ain't drag it out. So, now they got a chance to look around the league, see if any free agents they like. Mm-hmm. Um, look towards the draft. You know, put your name, maybe, if uh, if Deshaun Watson is available. Right. Score yeah. trade options and all that. Right. Um. They definitely got some some work to do as far as like they got a few free agents on the defense end, I think. And they could they could tweak the defense anyway. You might want to look at like corner. Well, you gotta gotta look at the quarterback first. Yeah. Because we just we just seen Jameis Winston with them. You know. Obviously no nobody, no quarterback is gonna have thirty turnovers every year. You know what I mean? Right. But so let me let me ask you, let me ask you this, right? If Jameis Winston signed a little deal with the Saints, do you think he goes back? Would they would they take him back? Uh I mean you can't say no because you've seen Cam come back. I think I didn't think Cam was gonna come back to the Panthers. Yeah, that's facts too. Hey man, he's it's very well possible. And he's a free agent too, right? Yeah. 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 Maybe he gets a job somewhere, you know, still is need a quarterback. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of places, a lot, a lot of moving parts. Definitely, man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rule it out. Yeah, I wouldn't rule it out. Um, yeah, he's gonna be drafting low. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he made the playoffs and the second round. All right, so he's gonna be <laughs> drafting kind of low. So quarterbacks don't tend to fall that far. You mainly be, I guess, reaching for a second round mm-hmm. pick in the first round, taking a flyer on it. And I don't know if you want to trade up, you know what I'm saying? Lose capital. Like I said, you got to go have some holes to fill and not a lot of money, so you're going to need your draft picks. It'll be interesting to see how they, how they juggle it. Definitely be uh, interesting. But that's what the GM gets paid for. Uh-huh. Um, you had it easy because Tom was your GM for like two years. Yeah, <laughs> like you know. Yeah. Uh-huh, <laughs> like you know. That, that, if he was to come back to football, he would be he would be a good consultant for a GM or something. Uh-huh. You know. Um, and I, yeah, it's really just damn. It just don't feel real, you know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah, that's that's why I was like, that he, he's really retired. Like, yo, man, in the season, we about to lose. Oh no, we already lost Breeze, but you know what I'm saying? No uh, yeah, Big Tom, Ben, no Big Ben, no Sean Payton, right? 
Yeah, so it, it just it just it creates it creates a void, but it has to you know somebody has to step up now. Yeah, yeah it was under the, that, that division is like super wide open now. Facts. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the Carolina had it started to get uh, to the year. Saints was okay. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Maybe they get Michael Thomas back, get healthy, mm-hmm. get a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Same thing with the Falcons. If they can keep re- on their rebuild <laughs> mode. Yeah. Right. Yeah, hmm. Falcons. But yeah, uh, man, this is gonna be an interesting off season. Yeah, man. Yeah, t- I'm trying t- to stay t- far away from possible. You know, say so we, we we got a couple more weeks, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Get a jump in the mall night, man. Oh man, jump in the mall night, man. Bink, Joe Burrow, man. New, new. All right, Patty. Patty can move up to the the Brady jump, right? I really feel like it's it's like we know we're not going to see that again, the seven Super Bowl thing. But I really feel like the NFL isn't is going to be in good hands though with all it's this yeah, is, yeah with all this young good talent out here. You know, Lamar Jackson, you know, it, it's going to create for some fun matchups over the, coming up over the years. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Um, you got the your Kyler Murray's and the NFC. Like we already talked about the NFC West. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then Justin Fields. And... Yeah. Because you could just every season that passes and the team can keep building around said player. Yeah, this this, this is going to be fun going forward. Yeah, get Deshaun Watson back into the league. Assuming he's in the innocent of everything. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and yeah. But, but damn, Tom Brady, forty four though. <clears throat> damn, walking away from it all. Now I about to say, do, do he get a? Do he get one of the man covers or? Oh, he already just came. Just had one with Patty, right? Uh, I know Man probably gonna get he the might get the, of this. He one. might get a special dish. Yeah, see, that's gonna be tough, right? Yeah, Man gotta get a special cover too. Hmm. I don't know, man. Yeah, it might be. Might be. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. All right. So, what do you feel like? Uh, we can start to wrap up here soon. So, what do you feel like? Um, you know, like his lasting impact. Cause it's like he, he's like a different kind of player, you know. Yeah, like he just, he just was was, I guess it was fundamentals, and he had super high IQ, so it ain't really nothing you could really like. What could you learn from him? Like you know how we say like Jerry Rice, supreme route runner, mm-hmm. or sure hands. You know what I'm saying? Like Tom Brady didn't have like a cannon arm or. I, I guess it's super accurate, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean you might can't learn nothing from them, like far as per se, like a skill. Mm-hmm. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like you could just have that in your mind. Like, look, Tom Brady didn't have the measurables, far as like speed, arm strength, and all that, and arguably the best player to ever play the game. So mm-hmm. you know, so you can have that in the back of your mind to push you forward. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, if I can't do all this right, let me study the game. Let me be. A student of the game, as you say, you know what I'm saying, right? That's that's, that's, that's what I was thinking because it seemed like the question you're about to ask, and I was like, that's the only thing I can come up with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's a good, that's a great answer. <clears throat> so, for the people who don't, you know, look like the prototypical quarterback, prototype quarterback, then yeah, that's well said. Make well, sure everything else is sharp, <laughs> mm-hmm. you, you only control what you control, <laughs> like, Fact. Fact. your parents only, you know what I'm saying. Can, you know what I'm saying? Make you a six something quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah, good, be good enough. He made it work. Hopefully you get blessed with a with a good coach. And now I'm I'm you know, Sean Payton and all this. We do we see Bill step down anytime bro? I mean that's what I was that's what I, I <laughs> thought he was gonna be gone before Brady. Right. You know what I'm saying? I hear it. Well, hold on. I guess I don't want to speak to Will, but you would think his time is coming soon, too. You know what I'm saying? Right. Damn, we ain't going. 
We ain't gonna ever get the Brady versus the Patriots, man. This is our last chance at it, man. Right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> uh before we get up out of here, there's one little funny tidbit I gotta throw out there. Anybody that knows <clears throat> watch following the sports world knows that Skip Bayless is a huge Tom Brady stand, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And his his tweets is like he's fake depressed or whatever. And one tweet had we were saying, you know, said his full name, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. that had no with like a a, a hundred O's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then his next tweet talking about some <laughs> I hope that the uh I hope somehow, some way the sun comes up tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, he's, oh, man, he's, down the dump. Because <laughs> that's that's one thing they love to talk about on Undisputed. You know, it's LeBron, it's the Cowboys, and he loves some Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now that he gone, of course, of course everybody going to be talking about this for like the next week or two. You know what I mean? Right. But yeah, Tom Brady is super low key, so we we probably not gonna be seeing a lot of him in public. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and the Hall of Fame class is gonna be all right, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, him and Ben in the same class. Both. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Should be first ballots. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely first ballots. Um. And then whoever they, whoever else they elect that, uh, you know, the older people that just didn't make it in yet or something. Uh-huh. And, and you know, let me get off subject, but you know, it must, it must do be like a crazy feeling on you play like a Hall of Fame career, but you don't get into like you know twenty, thirty years after you're done playing. <laughs> yeah, uh, you'd be sixty or seventy or something, barely even like you said the other day, barely even hanging on to life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they gotta be better with that, man. <laughs> Let them people get in, there, man. Yeah, you gotta. I know you. You only want to put in a certain amount of people every year, but if you gotta bump that number up. You know what I'm saying? And do that, or I feel like if a person makes the Hall of Fame eventually, then you Ben knew they should have made the Hall of Fame. Right. Yeah, I don't know what they <laughs> waiting for. Like I guess, but I don't know. Like, like you said, since they got that X amount of people they want to let in, when they keep denying people, you know what I'm saying? Now it's a it's a it's a backlog. Like right. Now it's like wide receivers going against other wide receivers now since you don't like deny me on my first, second, third go in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Is dumb. But anything else you wanted to touch on as far as Tom Brady goes? Is he the GOAT to you? Uh, I don't know. It's like, it's tough. I mean, I guess, like, it's probably easy to say because he got a seven rings, but, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, like, hard to compare quarterbacks to running backs and, you know what I'm saying, so many other great players. Right. But, I mean, I guess, <clears throat> I, mean, I, I wouldn't be mad. I won't argue with people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you. Yeah, I would call him the goat. I mean, uh, just this, but just going by, you know, technicalities though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, as soon as somebody bring up the resume, like, it ain't really know you could. You can say, yeah. <laughs> you know, I would, I'd be wanting to say other stuff, but it is like, oh, you know, he done did this, did that, did this, did that, did that. You know, he. He then got the most. He probably got the most passing yards in history, and all. Cause I think him and him and Drew Brees is going back and forth for a while. No, I, yeah, I think he got it now. Yeah, yeah I'm about to say Drew I Brees. I think when I seen like the little picture, it's like I think he got the most yards and TDs. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, he, he, with, 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 besides winning more Super Bowls, he already done done. Yeah, I mean, like if it if if it just wasn't for like the allegations and all that stuff, he would probably be the undeniable. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's yeah, like okay. goes back. I think that's like mainly the reason this hold me back. Like I said, and also like find like different positions. Like same thing, but like with Drake. Like people can say like Drake the best, but like then he has the ghostwriting allegations of like just that that black that black cloud on his resume. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. <clears throat> 
<sighs> it was it was great though. Regardless yeah, of, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So man, what a career. What a run. Uh I couldn't see myself playing football for twenty two years. But <clears throat> that's the mindset. You gotta have a certain mindset, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um I, me, I'm thinking the league, I probably would have been the more you know, feel fill it out type of player. You know what I'm saying? If I'd have had his kind of success early on, I, mean, I might fucking I can make the Hall of Fame or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then I'd have like probably pressed pressed it on. But yeah. But let it wrap it up. Like you got anything else you want to say? No, nah, that's, that's it. Yeah, let it wrap it up. Um, it's a Head for the Hills podcast exclusive. Tom Brady retiring. And uh, we out. Bye.